Today we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Thursday, January 5, 2023, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. Also, check out our perks and join the High Stakes membership. Joining the High Stakes membership is easy, is cheap, but it will help a lot in the growth process of this channel. Plus check out our Patreon in the link down below if you want access for our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our games for today make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. One more thing before we start, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions. You will find the link in the description and comment section below. New Jersey Devils vs St. Louis Blues. I get the case to be made for the Devils being favored at home, but all of the value is on the Blues here. The Blues have had the upper hand in this matchup for a few seasons now, and the Devils just still are not the team we made a pretty penny backing over the first 25 games of the season. The Devils have lost three of their last four games and seven straight home games. They usually play well offensively, but they struggled in recent home games, scoring only 10 goals in their last four home games. They've struggled on special teams, converting only 19% of their power play opportunities. Even though the Blues aren't very good defensively they played better in recent road games, and they are well rested playing a team that is playing on consecutive nights, so don't expect them to have a hard time slowing down the Devils. The Blues have lost four of their last six games, but they have played well in recent road games, winning five of their last seven road games. They are very good offensively and scored at least four goals in five of their last six road games. They've also played well on special teams, converting 23% of their power play opportunities. The Devils have one of the best defenses in the league, but they have struggled during their slump, giving up at least four goals in four of their last six home games, so expect them to have a hard time slowing down the Blues. Our team pick is St. Louis to cover the money line. The St. Louis Blues will be out to build on a 6-5 shootout win over Toronto in their last game. Robert Thomas has 34 points with 8 goals and 26 assists. Jordan Cairo has 37 point split between 18 goals and 19 assists, and Braden Shen has 29 points with 8 goals and 21 assists. Pavel Buchnevich also has 29 points with 17 assists, and Vladimir Tarasenko has 29 points with 10 goals and 19 assists this season. Jordan Binnington seen the action in goal for St. Louis up to this point in the season, with a record of 14-12-3, along with a 3.21 GA and a .893 save percentage this season. The New Jersey Devils will try to add to a 5-1 win over Detroit last time out. Jack Hughes leads the Devils in scoring with 44 points, including a team-high 22 goals and 22 assists, while Jesper Brad also has 38 points, with a team-high 24 assists. Nico Hishier also has 36 points with 17 goals and 19 assists this season. Vitek Vanasek is 14-5-2 with a 2.31 GA and a .914 save percentage, while Lakira Schmidt has gone 5-3 with a 1.96 GA and a .932 save percentage of his own this season. I'm expecting a lot of goals in this game tonight. The Blues have trended way over this season, with the overgoing 24-11-3 this season, 7-2-1 in their last 10 games, and 4-1 in their last 5 games. The over hit early in the second period of their Tuesday night game in Toronto. A lot of that can be attributed to how bad their defense has been this year. I expect the Devils, who scored 5 goals last night to be able to capitalize again at will tonight. Additionally, with the Devils in the second half of a back-to-back, -back, they're starting their backup goaltender tonight, who might expect to give up 2-3 goals to the Blues, who have shown at times that they're capable to score. Both goalies in this game have a sub-.900 GAA and above a 3.00 GAA. They'll give up goals. Our total pick is over 6.5 goals. 